Queensland's political leaders are making their final pitch to voters ahead of the state election. Nearly 1.4 million have cast their ballot as polling margins continue to narrow. Early on, opinion polls showed the LNP was in the lead, but the Labor Party has since caught up. Stephen Miles has attempted to revive support for the party with a campaign blitz, touring 36 seats in 36 hours. The Premier is telling voters a change of government is a risk while running on a trust campaign. Labor. Every Queensland election is very, very hard and this one will be hard for Labor to win. But I've spent 10 months showing what kind of leader I am and the kind of Premier I would be if I won a four-year term in my own right. I took those additional coal royalties and delivered them back to Queenslanders with record cost of living relief. And now I have a long-term plan for the state's future that I want the chance to implement. Labor has been in power for almost a decade and the opposition maintains the government has reached the end of its reign. LNP leader David Crisofulli has urged voters to give the party a chance, saying Queensland is ready for a change. The Labor Party have run a scare campaign and the unions have backed them up, but we haven't wavered from giving Queenslanders hope over that fear. I'm choosing hope over fear and I'm asking Queenslanders, if you don't want to see a fourth term, 14 years from the Labor Party, if you don't want to see a minority parliament with the Greens and Catter, imagine getting youth crime reform through with the Greens and health care reform through with the Catters. It would be bedlam, chaos, mm. and we're offering stability. The Greens are posing a threat in traditionally safe Labor seats as they counter inner Brisbane electorates. Greens MP Amy McMahon says the party's main focus is everyday Queenslanders. We've used the same uh, kind of strategy and approach that won us those three federal seats with these huge ground campaigns. We've knocked on 125,000 doors. We've had 38,000 conversations with people about the issues that matter to them. The biggest issues that have been coming up are the housing crisis and cost of living crisis. They can see that things have gotten harder under Labor. No one feels excited about the LNP and we are offering people uh, the opportunity to vote for MPs who are standing firmly on the side of everyday people.